Copley and RTV6. Our Call 6 Investigates team is learning new details to fix a major problem with the massive Indigo Red Line project. The solution comes months after Call 6 exposed issues with the electric buses being purchased for the project. Tonight we're learning of a possible solution that will fix how far the buses can travel. Call 6 Investigates Paris Lubell is live now with the very latest. Good evening, Paris. Mark, good evening. This is one of those red line stations that's really taken shape along Capitol Avenue in the past few months. And over the next couple of months, we're going to start seeing buses that are supposed to service these stations every 10 minutes. But the buses they got, they're all electric, aren't able to do that with the current range that they've been provided. The red line project is taking shape, and across the city, it's looking more like a reality. I'm you. looking very forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. But the brand new electric buses that are supposed to serve as the stations along the 13.1 bus rapid transit line were falling short. Back in March, Call 6 Investigates uncovered internal reports the new electric buses from Build Your Dreams weren't getting anywhere close to the 275 mile range that's required for the route. According to the latest testing reports obtained by Call 6, the buses were only able to go on average just 208 miles, 67 less than what's required. And that put the Red Line's promise of a bus every 10 minutes in jeopardy. But now Indigo is revealing first to Call 6 that they have come up with a plan to keep the buses on track and on schedule. Indigo says the bus manufacturer will pay to install wireless charging stations the buses will drive over and allow them to charge for a few minutes while the drivers are on brakes. And all that is coming at no cost to the city. But adding to an already delayed project and millions of dollars being spent to get it back on track, it frustrates some people we talk to. The way I look at it is, look at the potholes. They can't get the potholes filled. You know, everything's delayed. But if they could constantly do their job and fix stuff like they so-called say they're going to get this done and have this done by this year and that year, if they could just do their job more better, we would be okay. Indigo says the new solution will allow Indigo to keep a bus coming every 10 minutes along the red line. And for some, the project overall is still a welcome addition to the city. Yeah, we need some kind of better public transportation. So anything, anything's an improvement. I mean, we're dealing with Indianapolis here and we got so much going on. I think it's an, it's an awesome step. Now to give you an idea of how exactly this will work, it's a lot like the new wireless phone charger just like this. The bus, like a phone, will just drive over the charger and it will start charging just like my phone is right now. They say that technology will allow them to keep the buses running every 10 minutes and keep a fully stocked battery on board. Reporting live tonight, Paris LeBell, RTV6.